the language, the whole language is the definition of your erosion. I hope Ho Chunk Raja La Mata Hunkai Gaide, Makere Raja La Saskai Gaide, Nilkwani Aja, Hawawaji Nunage, Dejop Aja, Chia J, Munchika Chijan Wamoje, History Major Wanje, A Ho Ho, my name is Saz Cleveland, I'm from the Ho Chunk Nation Bear Clan, and I'm a history major that's a junior right now. This is a very orchestrated environment by the Ho Chunk. Madison was one of the prairies, uh, obviously. And like that time would be seen as woodlands. But prairie was known as the Oak Savannah. Oak Savannah is fire ecology. So they'd burn this area up. Um, if you know anything about burnt oak trees, they'd survive a fire. And there'd be prairie grass. This prairie grass could only be bloomed if fire was there. Basically, everything was deprived of being ho chuck from this land. That's why we have like a landscape initiative trying to bring it back, bring like giving spring names or old names back and stuff. But obviously, Effigy mounds were destroyed. <laughs> we got buildings on top of them. Yeah, this is Ho Chunk ancestral land. This is land they occupied and took care of. So you can never own land. Your family can't really own land. It's stuff like that. This land property stuff, that's only a colonial concept. When we're talking about land for a Ho Chunk society, especially in the trees, we're thinking about hunting land. They're just going to use it to hunt and then leave. Don't, doesn't the university want to take care of it too sometimes? And one of the ways to take care of it is help the youth and probably at least help the Ho-Chunk Nation that helped take care of it earlier by teaching the language a little more. It's a dying language, uh, I'd say. You're killing it by just under-promoting it and not putting any resources and making people take say it. But that, that just shows it's performative, you know, from my eyes as a Ho-Chunk student. 2018 and the plaque was put up in 2019, our shared future happened. I... I'd say it was a good step in the right direction. Uh, Ho Chung gave a very good seminar on some of the words that were used. Uh, they talked about the word respect in Ho Chung culture. It's called Gish Akade. Respect is formative here. And responsibility. They don't show any responsibility towards the natives. So the university last year tried to destroy and demolish the ISC, which is the Indigenous Student Center, otherwise known two years ago as American Indian Student Community Center. Was this place for natives? Um, one of the main problems was native funding was cut, uh, basically leading all of the org that was here to sell all their art to stay afloat and keep the house going. So the clubs and organizations help because they're run by natives and they're for natives. University does not understand that sometimes. The ISC holds a lot of things. t Lamb, Aces, Madtown Drum, Wonk Shik. Wong Shik, I feel like, is a community that brings people together and like helps individual students with the stress of university. Because university provides this context of like separating you from your culture. Having this place and not having to like sit in a library by myself and come in here and seeing all my friends studying definitely pushes my academics a little bit higher than it would have been. Um,